Good day, everyone. My name is Jordan Villarreal. I'm technical advocate for Netbox. And today we're going to be going over a 3.4 new feature here. Uh, we're going to be looking at the virtual device contexts feature. So if you're not familiar with a VDC, uh, it is a logical way of separating a single device, typically a switch, into multiple switches. Uh, when you have a VDC created on a switch, uh, to get, let's say, the switch is split in half, uh, if you want to get ports 1 through 24 in one VDC and then 25 through 48 in a separate VDC, they become two logically different switches. And that means in order to get between them, uh, if you had something on port 1 and something on port 48 that needed to communicate, uh, typically, uh, at least if they were on the same VLAN, they'd be able to communicate within that same switch. Uh, however, within a VDC, once that split has been created, you have to exit that first part of the switch, 1 through 24, to get over to the 25 through 48 portion. Uh, so essentially, you need a physical link between those two new switches. So within uh, the older versions of NetBox, so we have 3.3.10, the last release here, uh, in, in dark mode, under devices, you can see the only virtual option that we had in there was a virtual chassis. Uh, but now in 3.4, which we have running in light mode under devices, you can see we have virtual device contexts now or VDCs. So I went ahead and created a new switch uh, that we just called VDC switch. And down here, you'll see we have uh, our virtual device contexts. So we have an admin context. Uh, an internet context and a DMZ context. Uh, so it's not an uncommon design to have an internet specific switch where you're landing circuits and then a DMZ specific switch where you're landing things that need to land in the DMZ. And generally that's accomplished with two different switches, but within a VDC, you can do that with a single switch, have them completely separate domains and now we can track them inside of NetBox. So if we go over to virtual device contexts in general, we can see those same three that we've created. We'll look at the admin context that was created for the VDC switch, and we can see our eight ports that are associated with that. Uh, same thing if we click on internet, we can see the next eight ports. And then I'll go ahead and pivot back over to the switch itself and actually switch over to the interfaces. And we can see uh, VDC as a, an available column in here to view those VDCs alongside of the actual port side. Uh, so then we see 17 through 24 here have been set to the DMZ VDC. And then back over here, you can see, um, again, just the list, the status. Uh, if you do need to assign a tenant through there, uh, if there isn't a VDC there already, you can click on Create VDC, and that will create a new one. So hopefully you find this new feature helpful. Uh, bring additional data into your tracking and data that comes into NetBox. I hope you find this feature useful. Thank you for watching.